What is your recommendation for dealing with an angry person lashing out at you? Do you ignore them and go straight to paying attention to the rising and falling? Yeah, no, never do that. The rising and fall, there's nothing special about the rising and falling of the abdomen. There's one thing special, it's quite easy and coarse and um, obvious, so it's it's child's play. And so it is, I remember when I first started, and I, I did this exact same thing, this exact thing, when, when people were yelling at me and I didn't know what to do, I did just close my eyes and went back to the rising and falling. It, it doesn't really work because you've got this intense headache and, 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 and tension and, and stress because this person is making you all upset. And um, so you're not actually cultivating objectivity. You're not actually meditating. You should never ignore anything. You know, never. The point, point is, ne don't ignore the present moment. The present moment at that moment is this person lashing out at you. So you can close your eyes, you can keep your eyes open, but what you should be focusing is on where your mind is. If your mind is not interested, if you're, if you're so highly developed that you're not interested, this, oh, this person's lashing out at me, okay, well, back to my meditation, then absolutely that's fine. Um, if, if it doesn't bother you and your mind doesn't even go out there, you, you, you know the person's there, you say to yourself, hearing, hearing, and then just ignore them and go back to your rising and falling, and it's just like birds chirping and fine. But if it upsets you, or if you're at all interested in it, and... and it's, it's highly unlikely that you're un, that you're able to really put this out of your mind in, unless you are highly developed. Um, you're, you're, so your mind, even if it's not upset, it's going to be going back to to focusing on what this person is saying, all the nasty things they are saying about you. In which case, that's what you should be focusing on, saying to yourself, hearing, hearing. And, and once your mind does let go of it, if at times your mind is no longer interested in it, or the person stops yelling, you can just go back to your rising and falling. You should also be noting the emotions. If it does give rise to emotional turmoil, like you're upset or angry, or if you find it funny, or if you feel um, if you feel somehow egotistical, often we feel proud of ourselves that we're able to not argue back, and, and you should watch that as well. Not think you're better than the person because they're lashing out, and, you know, oh, this person is such a you know, low, low, low spiritual, low spirituality such a low being, I don't know what the word is, um, you know, they, they can't even control their temper, that kind of thing, you should watch that as well, you should watch all of these things and be mindful of them, replace the, the judgments with, with objectivity and mindfulness.